Hello everyone, my name is Roya and today I am going to be reviewing It Ends in Fire by Andrew Schwartz. Um, I am still living in a hotel while my house is being repaired, but um, it is once again time to um, clean the hotel room and bring the animals here. So the cats are like chilling here with me and the dogs are in the yard because um, this is like the one room that's still standing. So at least I can film videos here. So anyway, so It Ends in Fire is about basically a fantasy world in which um, the rich people and especially politicians are um, separated, are kind of differentiated from everyone else by something tangible, which is having magical abilities. Basically, people are made into wizards when they're little babies. And so, and it has to be done when they're babies. No one really knows how it's done, but like basically, so pretty much it's the same families over and over again, whose kids are like keeping made into wizards and whatnot. Um, or sometimes if someone, uh, if someone does something really, you know, if someone gains favor with like the rich and powerful people, then their kids get to become wizards when they're born, blah, de, blah, de, blah. So pretty much um, the wizards like treat the uh, regular ass people like second class citizens and just like really um, abuse the shit out of them pretty much. And so our main character, Alka, is a wizard who um, her parents actually rebelled but she was born before that happened, so she still did get the magical abilities. Um, so basically, um, her parents were killed when she was like seven, and she was brought up by essentially a resistance group. And now, as the only wizard in that resistance group, basically, um, she is 17 and she has to um, infiltrate the wizard boarding school for like the fanciest um, like, most powerful families, basically. Um, so she goes there and she has to come up with some kind of plan to kind of take down the whole elitist bullshit system. So basically at this school she makes friends with a lot of people and feels really bad for deceiving them because basically she had to like take someone's place so she's pretending to be an entirely different like person all that stuff and so she feels really bad um that she's deceiving like her new friends because they don't really know who she is and she even gets into two romantic relationships at basically the same time with a boy and with a girl um and she feels really bad for deceiving them as well um and basically at this school people just kill each other like it's completely normal for people to just kill each other. It's really weird. Um, like, it's so brutal. A lot of students, like, die in this book. It's so weird. I don't think I've ever read a boarding school book in which, like, that many people just die left and right. Like, people just get killed all the time. And a good chunk of this story centers around this really weird competition called The Great Game that she's decided that she should get her team to win because um, the winning team gets to um, go to the Senate. And so she's thinking that's her opportunity to um, kill all the senators. And so she's really trying to win this game and she has to cheat to do it uh, because everyone else is cheating too. And the only, and if everyone else is cheating, the only way you can win is by breaking the game. And all the different competitions within this game are all very much centered around killing each other. It's so weird. Um, they all felt very the same to me. I felt like there could have been some more um, variation there because um, even though like they were supposed to be kind of different, they all came across as just like a free-for-all where everyone's killing each other. Um, so I, I failed to kind of see what the difference was with each of them because as they're each announced, like there's this whole big deal about oh they're supposed to um like oh no how do I find out about how to win this this particular one and blah 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 um and so she has to like consult her girlfriend and be like okay how how does this work um and and yet they're all basically the same so I felt I thought that was kind of weird so I really enjoyed this book and I also felt like it felt very timely um because we do have a lot of stuff in it that very much mirrors kind of what politically goes on in the US at least. Um, so we have like politicians who refuse to resign and politicians who are just too wimpy to do anything and all kinds of stuff like that. Uh, just throughout this book we get that um, mentioned time and time again. And basically there's a whole political party essentially that uh, keeps like 
stupid old traditions going just because they're traditions even though they're like really outdated um stuff like that so it felt it felt very similar to kind of what actually goes on in our world and it's just kind of weird and then like the main villain in it um is somebody who basically his main crimes are involve kind of looking the other way while people are rigging the game or looking the other way when people um do stuff that's unethical or immoral um even though like he doesn't give a shit either way like he he would rather they not do that but he like basically just looks the other way and like doesn't do anything and so when you don't so it's kind of like you know when you don't uh, do anything and you totally just look the other way and don't even say anything against what someone's doing you're basically on their side even if you're not um, and so I thought that was kind of interesting that our main villain isn't even someone who's like the worst of the worst at all he's literally just someone who's chosen the side of the oppressor just by being there not actually doing anything. I think the only thing that I would have liked to see more of in this book is world building. I think I really wanted more of the world. Um, there was a lot that kind of uh, just makes a really good point but never gets mentioned again, um, such as especially what stuck out to me is that apparently like the main character is actually biracial, but that's literally only mentioned once um, that her mom is from a different race, um, whatever race that even is, because we get no context um but basically it's like people of she finds out at some point that it was initially people of her mother's ethnicity that um came up with that had magic and used magic but then it was like rich white people came in and appropriated it and started using it as something to differentiate like the rich and powerful from everybody else and so I thought that was such a good point um about appropriation and about a kind of just like a lot of things actually, but it never gets mentioned again at all. Like the fact that she's biracial doesn't even come up again in the entire book. It's literally only mentioned once in like the halfway point of the book, basically. And so I thought that like, so there was a lot of stuff like that, um, that uh, made a really good point and then never got mentioned again. And I kind of was like, wait, more of that, please. And the main character does, um, does meet a lot of you know people from different countries and stuff like that who um do have completely different um ways that their country uses magic and um how they so she discovers that um they don't treat non-magical people as second class citizens everyone has the same rights all of that um but then again like it's not touched on like at all again for most of the book. Um, so I thought that a just a lot of stuff like that went on that we don't get enough of. But overall, I really, really enjoyed this book. I um, really hope there's a sequel because this did leave off at a point where clearly there's still a lot to be addressed and a lot of loose ends. Um, but um, it's not listed as the first in a series or anything like that on Goodreads or anything, so I don't know if there's going to be a second one, but I really hope there is. Um, but anyway, I really enjoyed this book, and I really think that you should check it out. So anyway, thank you guys so much for watching. If you've read this book, um, let me know what your thoughts are, and I will see you very soon with a new video. Bye!